Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to Patriot Hoop Squad. We now stand at 4-4 four and four in our league, 12-12 12 12 overall, and we have been slowly but surely battle testing ourselves against what is arguably the best and toughest league in the city. So we face Taft tomorrow and we finish up with senior night against Cleveland at home. And then we start the playoff season. I want to show you some highlights and some things that we do over the past several games because a lot of players have stepped up and we're really progressing well and we're going to make some noise in the playoffs. First we'll show you our triangle offense at work. Here's our third option with Carlos Martinez going forward across to the free throw line. The guard Isaiah cuts back door and then gets a nice dribble pitch back from Carlos who then hits him again for a wide open jump shot. We try to encourage our man-to-man -man defense to be as aggressive as possible and there's Isaiah Rogers getting a steal and there's Jabril Murphy flying across the floor to get an acrobatic layup. In our man-to-man -man defense we stress no middle forcing everything to the baseline and this helps us with help defense and to cause turnovers especially when they're turned over there because there's Marcus Harris who gets a run out and a dunk. Isaiah Rogers has quickly figured out how to make the triangle work for him and the spacing we create allows driving lanes and finishes. Our baseline out of bounds plays are really advantageous for us to get threes and here I will take players out if they don't shoot a three when they're open. There's Mario Spencer knocking one down. Because we have a two guard front it's a lot harder to double the point guard because we have another guard and an easy pass and there's Isaiah Rogers knocking down a three. We were able to hang tough with Taft because Isaiah Rogers was really aggressive, penetrating to the middle and finding Andrew Estes on the weak side for a wide open three. As a shot doctor, we spent a lot of time working on form and mechanics for the outside shot and Isaiah has spent the most time working on it and there is the payoff. Marcus Harris can do some damage for us down in the low post, especially when he faces up the basket and puts one dribble on the floor. There he gets an and one. Because we get so much movement out of our triangle offense, it's easy to feed the post on the swing pass. And here you'll see Marcus Harris again get the ball in a low post, face up, and do a nice spin move layup. We were able to close the gap in the fourth quarter as Andrew Estes heated up. Here, Pai Mamadi will set a down screen for him, and he'll get a nice drive to the baseline and a little bit of a floater. By having Payam cut across the lane, it sucks the defense in and opens up a lane for Andrew Estes to drive again to the baseline and hit a really tough pull-up shot. On the road to Cleveland, we got right into our offense and ran the first option hitting the low post. And there's Aubreyon Webster after the cutters go through, facing up and hitting a turnaround jump shot. Here's our third option again, the forward across with Carlos Martinez getting the ball in the high post executing a dribble pitch to Isaiah Rogers who then goes to the basket in a beautiful spin move off the glass. Here's Pai Mamadi being really aggressive in our offense and that really helps out when the other defensive players have to adjust to his penetration opening up a shot for Andrew Estes. Our point guard Jabril Murphy has really started to heat up over the last few games knocking down threes all over the place. And we don't need to run too much offense if the defense is slacking off Andrew Estes. He has pro range. We also stress getting shots out of our sideline out of bounds and here Andrew Estes has a nice pull up. We worked long and hard to get our shooters Andrew and Payam to spot up on the break at the three point line so Jabril Murphy can hit them for open transition threes. This game at Cleveland was when Isaiah Rogers really found his niche. Here out of the pinch post we elect to go back to the strong side and there's a beautiful pass from Isaiah to Marcus for an and one. Isaiah penetrated from the transition and found Marcus again underneath for a wide open layup. And finally, when the defense really pushed up and put pressure on Isaiah, he blew right by his man, got right into the lane and hit another beautiful dish for an and one for Marcus Harris. Again, baseline out of bounds, we'll run that same play you saw Mario hit a three. This time Payam gets it and while he misses, we're in position for the offensive rebound and we can break right back into our offense, hit the low post and there's Jabril who's been on a hot streak with a three. Isaiah Rogers seems to give us a highlight every game. Here he splits a double team, gets right to the basket and hits a nice runner. Aubreyon Webster is our best defender on the team and he can also rebound and dribble the ball coast to coast and finish at the rim with a layup. Aubreyon is also a threat in the low post, not only from scoring, but he can turn face and then kick it out and there's Jabril Murphy with another jump shot. 
With Isaiah Rogers' newfound confidence, watch this spin move in the backcourt. He keeps his head up the entire time and finds Andrew Estes for a wide open three. And Jabril Murphy has been working on his stroke all season long and it's paying off big dividends as he hits a three with a guy in his face and in the open court he has the confidence now to pull up from 18 and nail the jumper.